Back at the Target Center, wall-to-wall -wall action today on Big Ten Network. Maryland, the 12th seed, taking on the fifth-seeded Badgers of Wisconsin. He and Tyler Wall and Nolan Winter, three Wisconsin guys with a lot of friends and family in the building here today. Then they got done with that game around 7.30 Central last night that went over Rutgers. Now they got to face Wisconsin. Well, there's a good start inside for Stephen Crow. Yeah, that's a play that we haven't seen this season because people fail to realize that in college basketball, it's a long season. Sometimes teams get in the low, but you get March Madness can get you out of that. Wall, so good at getting to his spot. The double team comes, and Storr is open, and Storr buries it. I'll tell you what, A.J. Storr is in the mix as well offensively. Hadn't got into it yet. And Jameer Young, a couple of buckets to get his confidence even higher. Crown against Reese. Out to Hepburn. Well, they're hot from deep early. Wisconsin's hit all three of their three-point drives. Five to shoot. Chucky Hepburn faded and hit it. Kamari McGee, number four in white, has checked in. Storr feeling it early and make the Badgers 4-4 four four from deep. There's an 8-0 Badger run. Reese, nice find. Geronimo lays it in. Nolan Winter, freshman out there, and here's the other freshman in the rotation. John Blackwell filling it up. They can't miss from deep. And Kevin Willard has seen enough. Timeout. Well, this is their go-to guy, the senior leader. Jameer Young. Yes, he's got six early. And now he gets the steal to Young. Oh! oh! Great shooting the gap, coming up with the steal. Oh! Emphasis on the backside. Six of 13 from the field. That three-point line has been the difference. There it is again. And it's the freshman John Blackwell again. Uh, Big Ten freshman of the week, John Blackwell. Juju, yes, Julian Reese with two. Right hand hook, no. Blackwell though coming in and cleaning things up. It's with his attempts. Maryland's got to have him score the basketball on a high clip. Folks, Blackwell is just in another world right now. The last two games, he started to heat up, and right now he's on fire. Hepburn right by Reese. What a jump stop. Well, I thought he could have laid it in, but he's just being friendly, and he finds Nolan Winter. I, I'm with you. I thought he was going to let that floater go, but... but that is not his area code. He gives it off to Young. Young gets the bounce, and he's already in double figures. Yeah, big fellas coming at you, but he had no space to get that off. Julian Reese just putting A.J. Storr right in the bucket. Here goes Chucky. Winner. Yes. Wow. And Kevin Willard's not mad. He's looking around like, you know what? They're just hot. You know, for, that's okay. Take it out on the opponent. Young cuts in on the angle. Man. Two more. Young from deep. He's doing it all right now for Maryland. Reminder coming up, State Farm halftime report will go across the court to Dave Rafel, Bruce, and Lafonso. Steven Crowell is feeling good back in his hometown. And here he is defending Reese. Reese gets some space and puts it home. Geronimo, a high flyer. You don't see him miss too many at the rim. Blackwell hitting Wisconsin's 10th three of the first half. Chucky Hepburn driving on Reese, finding Crowell, 18-footer. They're all dropping right now. Taken away, so a bad start for Maryland to the second half. A.J. Storr off the feed from Hepburn. <laughs> it's not like he's playing conservatively. He's doing that yeah, as well. Yeah, knocking it down from 18. And boy, now the lead is up to 25. And ranked number six in the country before hitting the skids a little bit, but my goodness, they're not hitting any skids here this afternoon. No, A.J. Storr is just too strong. Taxes up here or something <laughs> will have a place because they continue to get talent out of this region. Crowell, uh, one of those hometown kids with another three. Here he kicks it out. Hepburn from way downtown. Why not? A.J. Storr spinning. That is high level. 
Now you see me cross, spin. Now you don't. I'm at the rim. We're going the other way. AJ Store, Rockford, Illinois, is finest. Yes. And his ability to learn this system. He's made leaps and bounds, strides in terms of his knowledge of the game and understanding what Greg Gard and his staff are expecting of him. And to do with his, his talent on his roster. And it's looking good this afternoon. Strong take by Deshaun Harris Smith. Look, they're going to be good players, but they struggle to shoot the ball this year. They really have. And I, I think that it's something that Ohio State could get past Iowa and then Illinois. They're in the conversation for sure. Oh, no doubt. Maybe for an opportunity after this level, you just never know. Three pointer for Max Klesman. I think he's the only player that hadn't hit one in a Badger uniform, and now he knocks it down. Points a game. But he's just fallen out of the rotation. But he can do that. He was behind Kamari McGee when he caught the basketball. I, I'm like you. I didn't expect that at either. Yeah, Connor Asijan is sending a message. I'm still here. That's right. Oh, and Gilmore went flying. And now hey. Reese with a dunk and then a couple words for Gilmore. Noah Trevor in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I kind of slipped on me. Dante Scott in the mid-range. Young gives it up. Harris Smith knocks down the triple. To the basics, he got back, obviously, to shooting the basketball. Because they meeting in the Big Ten tournament between these two programs. They met in 2018 at Madison Square Garden. Uh, Gilmore adds to the list of Badgers that have hit from downtown. You just want to get these guys confident and reward them for their hard work. Harris Smith, he's had a big second half. Big win last night over Rutgers. I should say dominant win, but they ran out of gas here today. The Badgers get win number 20, and they do it in dominant fashion.